The new Exotic SMG, the Backfire, is a nice SMG, right? It came on TU11 and it has a lot of power, but also it has a consequence. So just by using the gun, you can get up to 200% critical hit damage just from using the gun itself, by hitting your enemies with bullets. But also, by having that 200% critical hit damage, you have a consequence to yourself. Uh, you can get a 100% blitz damage by using the gun to yourself. It will damage the user of the gun. Now, that 100% bleed damage to the user, it, it, you know, has a lot of consequence, right? The first one, of course, it will kill you. But not only that, uh, the bleed effect will slow you down. I think that's uh, my biggest problem. Because when you slow down, uh, the enemies will hit you a lot easier. You can't run to your cover and stuff like that. So it is annoying when you have that bleed effect on you. So what about if you could avoid at all this bleed effect so on today's video i'm going to show you guys my 100 percent bleed effect or 100 percent hazard protection built for tu11 now i'm going to be showing you for the backfire smg but this build can be for anything else right any uh hazard protection build that you want to use for any other case just this one is going to be specific for the backfire so let's get into this let me show you guys what i'm working with so if you guys enjoyed this video I like would be super appreciate if you know subscribe for more division 2 content and yeah let's get into the video right So guys, this is going to be the build, um, we are showcasing the backfire and we're going to try to get that bleed effect cancelled against the user, right? To have a 100% hazard protection build, I think there is two brand settings here very important to start off the build, right? The first one is going to be by having a yaw gear. By having a yaw gear on your build, you get a 10% hazard protection right from the bat from one bonus, right? And then down on the attributes, we're gonna have to add another 10% hazard protection on the attributes to give us a 20% already uh, on the on these new pads of Yal gear, right? So the core attribute we're gonna have armor in here. This this is what the Yal gear comes with. The attribute I recommend having critical hit damage in here, and that's it. Now the second brand set that I recommend for this hazard protection build to start off after the Yal, you wanna have two piece chaskas on this build. So the chaska is a brand set that if you equip one piece, it gives you 10% critical chance, and then second piece will give you a 10% hazard protection. And then moving down on the attributes again, we have to add another 10% hazard protection on attributes so on the chest on the holster we have critical damage and then core attribute weapon damage uh, same is gonna be on the gloves now moving from there 
whatever comes next it's up to you now because we're using an smg on this build which is the backfire right uh we have on the chest piece a circle of concern circle of concern by equipping one piece you get uh 10 smg damage the core attribute i have weapon damage attribute critical hit damage that's what i recommend and then we have to put a 10 percent has a protection on this chest piece the mods, as you see right here, we have a 9.5% bleed resistance. On the chest piece, the talent that we're going to be using here is Intimidated. While you have bonus armor, amplifies total weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters. So that 35% amplify damage, that's a lot of damage that we're going to add on the build. But we need to have bonus armor, right? So for that, we have the backpack with the talent adrenaline rush whenever you are within 10 meters on an enemy gain 20 percent bonus armor for five seconds stacks up to three times so we can get up to 60 percent bonus armor by having adrenaline rush with enemies around us now this talent we have it on the backpack of a group of sombra group of sombra is another brand set that i recommend a lot on this build because it has 15 percent critical damage on the bonus by equipping one of them right and we need that for smg a lot of critical hit damage the core attribute is going to be weapon damage attribute we have 12 percent critical damage and then we have to have another 10 percent has a protection on the attributes we're gonna need basically has a protection in all of the five brand sets besides the exotic right and then on the mods you see in here we have a 9.6 percent bleed resistance which is gonna get us to that 96 percent uh, bleed resistance if i go on the stats real quick you see actually 98.6 percent bleed resistance that's what i have on the build now to finish it off we have on the mask the coyote mask this is an exotic uh mask that it's really good for smgs right because um it has a talent in here that will give us 25 percent critical damage when we hit an enemy from 0 to 15 meters now if you see this build is about getting close right we have the talent intimidated uh close to 10 meters so this in here is gonna come really handy in here uh, to give us a lot of damage that 25 percent is gonna stack up to what we have on this build we can get up to uh, a lot of critical hit damage on this build right now we have 146 percent critical hit damage if we add the 200 percent potential from the gun that's a total of 346 percent critical hit damage another 25 from the mask we have 371 percent 371 percent critical hit damage on this build so that's the potential for the critical hit damage on this build once you have everything activated right now going back so what's gonna allow us to achieve that much critical damage is gonna be this gun right here the backfire is the new smg exotic on tu11 so this is basically a mpx uh, with a little bit of a spice right <laughs> so the talent is payment in kind dealing damage to enemies adds a stack of one percent critical damage up to 200 stacks lasting for 10 seconds so that's basically 200 percent critical damage that you can get with this gun that's a lot of power for an smg so because of that right what the devs did to kind of counter that much power you have a consequence which is the second part of this talent on reload apply a 10 seconds bleed to yourself which deals 0.5 percent armor damage per stacks so that's a lot of damage that can come towards you so you need to counter that there is different ways that you can counter it and this build is going to be one of them as you see i don't get any bleed at all once i'm reloading right so with that said um i have 100 hazard protection i have a potential of 371 critical hit damage and i can still kill solo on this build now taking a look at the burden resistance right we have only 79.5 but we could have a lot more in here as a fact we could be immune to burn and bleed on the same build and the way to do that you have to come in here on the specialization to change one of them right now i'm running the gunner but if i go on the demolitionist there is something in here you gotta check right so in here on the demolitionist you have this it's a passive talent that gives you 20 percent burn resistance so if you add that to the build we have 98.6 percent bleed resistance and 99.5 percent burn resistance so that's basically bleed and burn immunity on this build 
if you want to have that you're gonna have to go with demolitionist now on my case i don't necessarily want the burn resistance that's fine for me if i want to i go with that but on this build specifically i am looking for this the killing enemies grants 10 percent armor on kill which i like and also i like to have the barrage rate of fire is increased by five percent on kills for five seconds so that's the reason i personally am reusing the gunner so that's it guys let me know what you guys think of this build um i feel like a lot of people don't use the backfire anymore because of the bleed effect right so this is the way that you can avoid that bleed effect there's plenty of other ways though but the beauty of this build is because you're gonna be uh you know with hazard protection 100 percent you're gonna be immune to bleed or immune to fire like i show you guys uh, on this build so so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if this video was helpful enough hit me with a like if you're new to the channel subscribe for more content and i'll see you guys in the next one peace